here in Montgomery County, we believe in science, we believe in data, and we believe that ch climate change is man-made. And that part about climate change being man-made is important because here in Montgomery County, we generate 147,000 tons of food waste every year. And that's a lot of food waste. So the question is, where does all of that go? And the vast majority of our food waste here is actually sent to the incinerator in Dickerson, where it's burned to ashes, which is dirty and a preventable process at that. So Montgomery County does have a partnership with our neighbors in Prince George's County to use their composting facility. Uh, and the Department of Economic uh, Environmental Protection has a pilot project to also help with econ uh, commercial business composting. But the county doesn't have a meaningful way to address the sheer amount of food waste that we generate every single year. So after nearly a year of conversations with farmers, scientists, and environmentalists, I'm excited to introduce the Zoning Text Amendment 24, which helps increase the productivity of on-farm composting and mulching. And it does so by raising the limit on how much farms can accept from off-site sources, which is currently at 20%, but this ZTA would increase it to 50%. And, you know, at its core, we know that farmers want composting because composting is farming. And by increasing the amount of food scraps our farms can accept, it means that we produce more compost and mulch instead of that scrap being sent to the incinerator. And this is not only an environmental effort, but it really will help create green jobs here in Montgomery County. Our local agriculture industry generates $154 million every year, and we can expect that to increase as these efforts also grow. You know, we already have farmers ready to accept more food waste, and we have local entrepreneurs ready to expand their business. So this is literally shovel ready. Uh, it's good for farmers, it's good for residents, it's good for the economy, and ultimately it's good for the planet. You know, many of you know that that my husband, Jason, is a horticulturalist, uh, and we like to get to the root of, of these issues. And so we've been composting in our backyard for years. Uh, and I know people regularly shrug uh, at me when I tell them that, but composting is a valuable part of our ecosystem. It sequesters carbon, it reduces reliance on chemical pesticides and fertilizers, and it also helps prevent uh, nutrient runoff. So it's a whole lot of good in a whole little package. And so uh, I would like to uh, thank my co-leads, Councilmember Friedson and Councilmember Navarro. Uh, if uh, I, I don't know where Councilmember Rice is, if, if he is co-leading, that is excellent as the three of you uh, are the district council members for much of the farming capacity here in Montgomery County. County. Uh, and I also want to thank Council Members Reamer, Albernaz, and Jawando for co-sponsoring as well. But although I, I heard Council Member Hucker and uh, President Katz also uh, in before I made those comments. So, uh, so thank you all. And then finally, I, I really do want to thank two members of my team. Uh, first is my legislative aide, uh, David Lorenzo Bateo, uh, for all of his di diligent work digging in to the science and research in this. Uh, and then also my chief of staff, Valeria Carranza, uh, who actually came back from her alma mater and shared with me the farming composting program that they did there. And that's when we really, uh, that, that's when we really took it to task here to see what we could do. So uh, last, I'll just say that we are really enthusiastic about uh, farm to table living here in Montgomery County. And with this CTA, hopefully we will also be enthusiastic about table to farm composting. So with that, uh, I yield back, Mr. President, and thank you all.